Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. I just went and did my lab this morning. It's about 8 o'clock, 8.15, and I'm just leaving the labs. Got to go stop by AutoZone, run a few errands, get a couple things done early this morning. How are all of y'all doing, bright and early birds, this morning? Hope everybody slept well last night. I crashed out, y'all. I was tired. In fact, I woke up at like 4 o'clock this morning. I don't even remember falling asleep last night. I still had the TV on. I had my glasses on my face. I woke up because my cat, my 20-pound cat, was climbing all over my stomach, my chest, climbing up, like laying on my face. And I was like, what the hell? Like, I didn't, I, I literally, I don't even remember the last thing I was watching. I don't remember nothing. I was like, what in the high Hades, the hell, gravies and biscuits was I doing? But whatever I was doing, I crashed out apparently. So, good Lord Almighty, Jesus take the wheel. I guess I was tired apparently. So, but uh, Monkey's big fat ass woke me up. So I was like, well, thank you, Monkey, for telling Mama to take her glasses and everything off. So turn the TV off at 4 o'clock for just for my alarm to go off at 5.30. <laughs> so, but yeah, it was crazy. So just sound asleep with my glasses and everything on, TV on. And I mean, all the lights and stuff were off, but yeah, I'm just sound asleep. So, but, um, so I don't know. I guess I just got all comfy in bed with everything on. But, uh, anyways, so, and I do remember I'd made a cup of decaf coffee and, uh, was gonna watch something. I don't remember what it was. Oh, yeah, I do. It was about abandoned sunken ships. And, um, my coffee was still hot, though, four o'clock this morning. So, because I do remember taking a drink of it and was like, mmm, coffee's still good and hot. <laughs> and I made it at, like, ten. So... But, and then, uh, I took a drink of my coffee and took my glasses off and turned the TV off and went right back to sleep. And, uh, but yeah, my monkey was nudging me to pet him and crawling all over me. And that's what woke me up. And so, goofy cat, big fat butt cat. So, nothing like 20 pounds of fat cat and hair in your face at four in the morning to wake you up. But, um... Anyways, so, yeah, I was just, I was out. But like I said, I couldn't sleep the night before, and that's why I was up until all hours of the night watching TV. So, but anyways, but I hope y'all had a good night. And it's French Fry Friday! So, I weighed 110 today. I was 111 and 111. Wednesday and yesterday. 111 4 Wednesday and 111 1 yesterday. 1 1 1 1 <laughs> yesterday. But I still had a cankle yesterday. Today I just got a cank. No cool. <laughs> it's still weird how only one of my ankles swells up like that. It's the oddest thing odd. I try telling my mama it happens when I get to a certain weight. She finally saw it. She was like, that is the weirdest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, I've been trying to tell you. It is not just in my head. She was like, I, I thought it was in your weird OCD head. I was like, I told you. I told you. She was like, you do not have cankles. Or a cankle. I was like, yes, I do. And then she was like, oh my God, you do. I was like, I told you. So, but anyways. <clears throat> I know I need to get on to replying to all y'all because I know I've got comments, so I need to get get busy doing that. Because I love my peeps. I love all my peoples. I love y'all. But yeah, so I hope everybody has a wonderful and fabulous and fantastic French Fry Friday. I sure do wish I could have some French fries. I love French fries. I love French and my fries. They're good. 
wish I could have a French and a fry Friday. But no. Nope. Not me. My butt's still too fat. I'm too fat for a French and a fry Friday. It's okay, though. No. It's okay. I'll have some grilled chicken on French Fry Friday. <laughs> so, Molly's going to test drive a new Lexus today, this morning. Since the one she was going to go test drive yesterday got sold out from underneath her, so that's okay. It was white. She needs a black one. So, hopefully this one will... She'll like it. <sighs> but, she's just going to trade her Lexus in. So, but anyways, so I'm fixing to run into Auto Zone. Auto Zone. Oh, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to tell y'all that I can think of right now. Auto Zone. Auto Parts. Auto Zone. I can't think of the way the song goes. <laughs> Y'all seen the commercial. Y'all know how it goes. Auto zone. For your auto parts. I don't know. Mm. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting to tell y'all. Where I really feel like there's a dang, there's a lot of people here. Dang, everybody's working on me. He's working on his front of his truck. He's working on the back of his truck. Sheesh. I'm gonna see about going and buying a new car when it cools down a little bit. I'm just gonna see about buying a um, you know, I drive a Chevy Impala now. And honestly, I am, because I really don't want to buy a new car, because I don't want to be in a car payment. I'm, I've had car payments for like years and years and years, and I, I, I don't have a car payment now. My car's paid off. It's been paid off, but I hate car payments. We all hate car payments. I, some people like them. Like my mom, she's constantly in a lease. Whatever. But um, I don't really want to be in a car payment. I don't like having car payments, but... Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go look at just the most cheapest car on the market I can find and I've decided that I'm going to go look into like a little um Kia Rio um because you know like there's little like um Ford Fiestas, Hyundai Accents, Kia Rios and Kias have those 10,000 mile warranties and they run anywhere between like 15, 16 thousand dollars and even the basic basic bottom of the line models come with like backup cameras and stuff which honestly I hate backup cameras I know people love them <clears throat> they make me nervous. I'm just worried that as I'm backing up watching the camera, I'm going to hear, <sighs> I don't like them. I don't use them. When I'm backing up, I still do this. I don't trust them. I, nope. I don't want to smash my car. I don't want to smash somebody else's car. I, I don't like them. My ex used to be like, <clears throat> it made me nervous. I don't like them. That, I know everybody loves them, but no. Um, but even the bottom of the line cars these days come with them. So that's cool. Whatever. If you love them, you love them. More power to you. But um, the only um, options that I absolutely want, air conditioner, because I live in Texas, and a radio. I don't even care if it has power windows, power seats. I'm not picky. My, yeah. I swear in the last six months, 12 months, I have put in literally a starter, an alternator, a radiator, uh, inner and outer tie rods, rack and pinion, um, oh my god, so much stuff to this car. I can't even think. Let's see. Starter alternator, radiator, yeah, inner and outer tie rods, rack and pinion, 
all four wheel hub bearings. Uh, ignition switch. Of course, battery. Two starters, actually. I have a oil leak, but it's the rear main seal. That's $1,500. I'm not doing that on a car that's got 200,000 miles. Um, yeah. It's, it's, it's ridiculous. So, it's time to trade it in. Um, like I said, I, did, I really didn't want to because when I paid this off, I wanted to pay it off and be done with it. But being that, um, like I said, being that it's got a rear main seal leak. Um, see, look. See the car that, that the AutoZone man's getting into? That's like a little Chevy Spark. Like, I need a little car like that. But Chevy Sparks suck, I've been told. By Chevy. Even though I drive a Chevy, I was told that they're the worst cars ever. But just, I need a little teeny car to get me just from here and there. And uh, the Kia Rios get like... 41 miles on the highway and like 35 in the city. Um, they come with 10,000 mile. I mean, 10,000. Uh, hundred thousand mile, whatever. I forget what it is. Warranty, uh, powertrain. Um, yeah, my mind's today's bad brain day. My memory's not doing good today. But anyways, I've been doing my research. And I would just rather have a Kia than a Hyundai. The warranty's better. Um, and I like the little Rios better than the Accents. But, um, and the warranty's better on them. But, um, and they range anywhere from like, I've seen them down as low as fifteen two nine five up to like 16000 And even the base, 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 base lowest lowest model like i said it comes with um you know the power c's power window of course all the little power stuff um little navigation screen backup camera even though i don't care about all that it just comes standard with it but literally the only thing i care about a radio and air conditioner that's it and when the car salesman says what options do you want i'm gonna say dependable that's it get to houston and to Austin to see my baby. That's it. <laughs> that's all I care about. Air conditioner and radio. That's it. I don't care. Power windows. Power seats. I don't give a damn about any of that. I don't need any of these options. Don't, like, take it all away. Sunroof. I don't care. I don't care to have it. Don't care. Don't care. So, um, yeah. And so, like, I did some of the numbers. Um... Like the one I was looking at, um, the bottom line was sixteen thousand. And when I figured in TT and L, you gotta figure I'm just gonna go at about six percent interest. Um, adding in TT and L, um at seventy two months, the payments um would be about two eighty five a month. And then of course add in insurance and stuff. So I do not want to pay more than four hundred dollars a month with insurance and I really don't want to pay that so with what I have coming in monthly so because I still have other bills so but I don't know we'll see I just don't want to be back in a car payment that sucks really sucks and plus I still love my car I love my car but it's just it's I'm constantly sinking money into it it's just constantly falling apart so, gotta do what you gotta do. And I need a car. And, like, this car's not dependable to drive to Houston. That's why I take the truck. So. Or to Austin to see my baby. And I want, like, my own vehicle to drive to Houston and to Austin. Not the truck. But. So. Anyways. But sucks having to think about putting money into another car again but oh well gotta do what you gotta do 
such is life. So, if any of y'all own a Kia, know anything about Kia, or have any suggestions on a very inexpensive car, please let me know, because I need one. So, if anybody has any ideas, I'm open. I'm open. I'm not that crazy about Fords, but I'm open. Like I said, just, I just, I need to figure out something to do, so... But, like I said, I just did not want to be buying another car. But, I wanted this to be my last. But, my ex ran this one into the ground. Unfortunately. So, if it wasn't for him, this car would have been in a lot better shape. But, oh well. It is what it is. He kind of took some of his aggression out on this car. Unfortunately. But, oh well. Now, he's driving around in a nice brand new truck. Must be nice. Funny how that works. It's okay. Karma is a biatch. It's all right. I let it go. I gave it to God. So, it goes around and comes around. So, I'm not going to hold anger and hostility. It doesn't hurt anybody but me. So, it is what it is. You know? Say la vie. But, all right. I'm going to go, y'all. I got to run into the store. Let's see? Auto zone. <laughs> Auto parts. That's stuck in my head now, y'all. I can't get it out. And that's not even right. I'm not even singing it right. But. Go in here and go say hello to all the sexy men. How y'all doing? I got a car y'all can work on. <laughs> I'm horrible. Kelly would not be happy. He'd be, he'd be like, oh, Kelly shaved his mustache off, y'all. Because he knows that I'm really not that crazy about facial hair. He looks like a little baby. Now I call him my baby cowboy. <laughs> my baby face cowboy. So. Ooh, how you doing walking into AutoZone? I'm coming. Hang on. I'll be right there. <laughs> See? I should not be left unattended. Hang on. Hold the door. I'm coming. Uno momento. Uno momento, por favor. <laughs> Get myself in trouble. In trouble. Oh, and there's another one. <laughs> oh, trouble, y'all. Trouble. I think I'm going to start hanging out at the auto zone more often. Shoot. I don't know why women go to bars to find men. Hell, hang out at the damn auto zone. And the one fixing his truck next to me? Working on his Hemi? How you doing, Hemi? How you doing? How you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Lord Almighty. It's about to go from French Fry Friday to Freaky Friday. <laughs> I'm just playing, y'all. Or am I? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All right. I got to go, y'all. I got things to do. <laughs> All right. Bye, y'all. Love y'all. <laughs>